Hi everyone, so this is the first vid for what is now our second lesson, which in theory could have been our third lesson, but it's better to rush it to make sure that we have plenty of time to go back. The board is playing up ever so slightly. Uh, right, here we go. So, inclined planes now. So it says a system contains an inclined plane, so most often best to consider the forces parallel and perpendicular. You did when it was on a flat, you were looking parallel and perpendicular all the time. So let's have a think about this then. So the weight and G is acting down. Now it acts down to the centre of the earth, which is why it's pointing straight down. But your reaction force is a normal reaction. So that's 90 degrees to the plane that it's on. Which is why the R is at 90 degrees to the plane and the MG is acting straight down. If there was friction, if we could add friction, with it, with it, the friction would act parallel to the plane that it's on. Now this weight here, the MG, I can split it up as components which are perpendicular to the plane and parallel to the plane. So to get from the start to the end, I've travelled kind of this way and then that way. Now think about your Z angles or, or angles in a circle or angles in a 90 degrees or whatever you want. That angle there, now don't write this bit down, that angle there would be 90 minus theta. And because that's at right angles, that must be theta. You could do it with Z angles as well. Well, the important bit is that this angle here is theta. Now, it's a bit funny. There was a conversation. It's not funny at all, really, to be fair. Um, there was a conversation in the office the other day saying that we don't like you drawing these forces on this specific diagram. They just want the MG on it. And if you look, I've got around that by drawing it separately on the side. I'll confirm that for definite um, before the test, though. Right, so remember what we said about the forces. If it's next to the angle, it's cos. If it's opposite the angle, it's sine. So I've got that there. So parallel to the slope is the mg sine theta. Perpendicular is the mg cos theta. Right, so that's wittering for a couple of minutes. So let's have a quick look at this example then. Have we got time to do it? Right, so I've got R. Got 20 newtons, that's going to be 30. So that'll be 20 cos 30, and that'll be 20 sine 30. So it says find the component of weight of the body parallel and perpendicular to the plane. Right then. So if we go parallel to the plane, the only force acting parallel to the plane is the 20 sine 30. Yeah. Which is 10 newtons. Perpendicular to the plane for the weight component, so the component of weight, that would be 20 cos 30, which you stick in the calculator, is 10 root 3 newtons. Yeah. So that's okay, you just wanted the component of weight, that's all. Just wants to practice breaking that weight down. Right, I'll stop it there, I'll do another video.